you see I've got parasocial friendship relationship with KSI with JJ listen bro first of all how the f*** can be parasocial when literally on my space on a space he said that I'm his friend bro and he's followed me since April April of last year I've met him twice so how can that be a parasocial relationship you dumb idiot Randolph bro you're such so, you're such a dumb guy bro it's not parasocial learn the f meaning of parasocial I've seen your f video about me you're a clown. You're a f***ing hater and you're a clown, bro. I'm not parasocial, bro. What the f*** does that even... Bro, like, just do your own research about me, bro. Like, it's, it's my account, bro. I've got the video on my account where KSI says that I'm his friend on a Twitter space, bro. You're just a dumb guy, bro. All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're back again with another YouTube video. And today, we're going to be talking about KSI's number one fan, The Fan, which is his Twitter handle, and kind of the bigger conversation on how weird and creepy parasocial relationships are and how they should, under no circumstances, be encouraged by content creators. Now, this video is not supposed to be attacking The Fan or sending hate towards him or trying to slander him. The Fan is just a perfect example on why parasocial relationships are extremely weird and delusional and why someone like KSI should not be encouraging it because it causes situations like this, right? So let's just get right into the video. So obviously The Fan has a lot of tweets, a bunch. So I picked a couple that I thought were extremely delusional and clearly a uh, representation on someone who is pushing their morals and own beliefs to the side to try to appease to a content creator, right? And if you look at his replies, he literally replies every like 30 minutes to somebody and it's usually in defense of KSI or Logan Paul. So this guy puts on his white knight armor and sits there on online on twitter all day long just responding to people criticizing ksi and he's kind of become well known in the ksi community and also his fandom of someone who's just always online delusional giving the worst takes about ksi and like just glazing the crap out of him so we're gonna look at some of his tweets and go from the less delusional ones to extremely delusional which is his pretty much his most recent ksi tweet which is extremely creepy so in this particular tweet, he says, this man gets sent a prime care package and is privileged to get sent the KSI flavor. And what does he do? He disrespects the brand and drink. Not the first time he's done this. He's also disrespected the new Cherry Freeze flavor, you talentless prick at Danny Aarons. Now, Danny Aarons, if you guys don't know, is a friend of KSI. He's also been in a couple sidemen among us. And he got sent a care package from KSI's very popular uh, electrolyte drink brand called Prime. And he gave a pretty honest review where he thinks it tastes really bad which is fair. I mean, that's his opinion. I think Prime doesn't taste that good either. And the fan has the idea that if you're a KSI's friend and you get sent something from KSI, you have to automatically like it like he does, right? You have to automatically love Prime, right? He also goes into his own comment section or his own tweet comments and says, literally all done out of views and likes. You're a sellout and will never be a real friend to JJ. I think Danny Aarons would have been more of a sellout if he just was like, mm, yeah, this is delicious, guys. Buy KSI's new prime flavor. I think that would be more of a sellout and more of a worse friend to JJ. JJ needs people like Danny Aarons, people who don't, don't just yes man him, right? So again, a super delusional take by the fan. And a lot of people call this out and completely ratio him. Now we go into more of a more dangerous take from the fan, which is clearly a shown of how he just doesn't care about what he's fighting for as long as he's just getting recognition from KSI. So he posts this saying, unpopular opinion, Logan Paul is innocent. Yes, that is an extremely unpopular opinion. He makes an honest mistake, which he takes accountability for by hiring the wrong people for CryptoZoo Project. We should all forgive him and let the court case play out rather than, the ju than judge him when we don't know the full story. And he's clearly referencing to when Logan Paul got exposed by CoffeeZilla for his pump and dump scam called Crypto Zoo. Now, it got exposed pretty quickly by CoffeeZilla that this was a pump and dump scheme. There was a group chat that was leaked of him pretty much talking about how they were going to do this and how he actually needs to pay back like $2 million to the victims who invested in this. And the fans just like, no, we just need to believe him. Why? What evidence do I have? Because he's KSI's business partner. That's why we should believe him. Now, again, he got absolutely ratioed on Twitter. People were posting literal bullet points on why this is such a dumb take. And then from then on, he just starts shitting on CoffeeZilla. Like for this one saying CoffeeZilla, if KSI didn't exist. Now, this is in reference to when CoffeeZilla did a quick video talking about how he assumed KSI was doing a pump and dump scam 
And there was some evidence to back it up. KSI tried defending himself by saying he just wasn't good at crypto and he had no idea what he was doing, which could be valid. I'm not really going to get into it. But then he decided to post a picture of like CoffeeZilla working at a McDonald's, which implies that CoffeeZilla would literally be working at a McDonald's if it wasn't for KSI, which is just fucking stupid because CoffeeZilla was exposing crypto scams for years before he even talked about KSI and it's so ironic coming from the fan because I'm pretty sure the fan doesn't even have a job based on the fact that he tweets 24-7 and replies to people like literally all day long right and so this is where we get really into the delusional takes so recently KSI had a fight with Tommy Fury which he did lose I mean a lot of people think he won which that's your own opinion but the facts are he did lose he did lose on paper it's part of his scorecard now so the fan posted this saying never forget that ksi has done what jake paul couldn't beating tom fury in which as you can see he got community uh notes saying ksi did not in fact not win tommy fury won by majority decision now the fan decided to go on a video and say nah he actually did win you dummies you guys are all stupid he did win oh elon musk you're an absolute disgrace KSI won that fight. KSI won that fight. I was there. I was there in the arena. I saw it with my own eyes. I was ringside. Which is just a full delusional rant. Like, again, you can believe he didn't win, but the facts say that he lost. Right? That's, that's literally the facts. And then he got community noted again, saying KSI did in fact not win. Tommy Fury won by majority decision. So there you go. So yeah, absolutely insane. Some more delusional takes is when Drama Alert decide to talk about KSI's beard, which again is a pretty normal thing that happens within the KSI community. People always meme on his forehead and how like bad, like how, how terrible his beard is, how he can't grow a beard. And even KSI acknowledges this. And so when Drama Alert posted kind of making fun about it, he went on a full on rant going after Drama Alert. So I'm going to play that here, which is absolutely insane. Listen, Drama Alert, you lot are a fucking joke. Why are you making fun out of KSI's beard? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, and I'm not talking to Keemstar. I'm talking to these fucking mods on Drama Alert. Yeah, first of all, KSI does not have a bad beard. Okay? It's not bad at all. I've seen worse beards. Uh, second of all, if you look at their Misfits 12 press conference, he was looking good. No homo. Um, third of all, go fuck yourself. Whoever fucking made that post, go fuck yourself. Don't ever diss KSI's beard. Fucking pieces of shit. So yeah, that's some of the rants. Also, another thing I want to get into, and this is absolutely insane and actually kind of sad, and that what brings me into why this is a perfect example of a parasol relationship. There's multiple videos and responses of him like trying to talk to KSI on Twitter, which just is met to a one-sided conversation. Hi, JJ. Um, just wanted to say, hope you're having a good evening, my guy. Um, if you're wondering how my evening is going, it's good. Um, you know, just being on Twitter pretty much the whole day, just chilling at home. Um, and, uh, yeah, man, I'm having a good weekend. Um, ho I hope that you're having a good weekend, bro. And, um, um, yeah, man, I'm excited for Misfits 12. It's next, uh, Saturday, January 20th, live on the zone. Um, yeah, let me know how your evening is going, bro. All right, take care, JJ. So, which is really weird, and again, this reminds me of the Stan song by, obviously, the goat Eminem, where he's talking about how it's like, I've been writing you, but you still ain't responding. This is a perfect example. And the reason why I say that this should not be encouraged by content creators, because KSI has went on multiple times saying that they are friends, when they clearly aren't. Like, he honestly has nothing to do with him, and he's doing that just so he can seem nice, because he probably does think that this guy is, like, mentally challenged, and he thinks he's being nice. But if anything, that's just encouraging this kind of behavior more, which is extremely creepy. Like, it's even gone to a point where the fan literally posted this saying fun fact we are 152 days four hours and four minutes away till ksi turns 31 that's some terminally online stuff like that is extremely extremely creepy right guys like it's absolutely insane so that's only some of the tweets i could go on for hours showing you guys how delusional this guy actually is and the dangers of parasocial relationship but the most weird thing is is it seems like he had some sort of like red pill matrix moment where he became slightly self-aware for just a moment where he posted this just a couple days ago saying, I will be a man and say this. I don't think KSI meant it when he said on Twitter space that we are friends. I think we just felt pressure to say that. And I understand that. I finally see it. 
I finally see that I was being delusional. I have issues understanding social cues in general. By the way, no hate to JJ. He's always been a great. He's always been great to me and a great person that inspires me, myself along with millions of people. I will always be a fan and nothing more than that, which is fine. So a lot of people are like congratulating him, seeing like you know, good job. He also responds saying, "By the way, I am only blaming myself for my own delusions and misunderstanding, not blaming JJ. He's done nothing wrong. I'm the one, only one to blame." So it seems like he's finally, you know, woke up and realized that what he's doing is extremely weird. So very quickly after this tweet, people were assuming that the fam was going to be going on this massive redemption arc to make up for the last couple years of him just like wasting his life on Twitter trying to defend a multimillionaire who genuinely does not care about him. And he even went as far as to like change his banner. He changed his profile. He changed his name. And it seems like he was going to do this like independent thing to finally break away from his obsession with JJ. But that was really quickly put to a hold when he tweeted probably the creepiest tweet I think I've seen him tweet yet, where he says, hi at KSI. I've noticed you haven't been sleeping well the last few days. The last three days you have slept at an estimated time of 348. 4 12 and 1 13 a.m i just want you to sleep well and prepare for the next day ahead take care bro now i don't know where he's getting these numbers from i don't know if he snuck into jj's house and was like recording him sleep or he has him added on something that says like last active a few hours ago but this is extremely obsessive and really creepy i don't know if he genuinely was trying to say this from a place of concern but bringing up people's sleep schedule is extremely weird especially since that probably is private information people don't need to know when jj's going to sleep he's a grown-ass adult so yeah yeah, really creepy and people are very quick to call this out because this obviously kind of blew up on Twitter where he says why are people calling me weird I just make estimate on the time I think he slept and make comments of concern nothing wrong with that I have a fan of KSI myself that is really creepy and really obsessive and now you just ruined any redemption arc that people thought you were going on so I genuinely hope that the fan does go get the help he needs and just turns off the internet right? Like that's all really people need is just shut off the internet for a few days and just go enjoy life. And you realize that what you're doing is completely pointless and you don't need to be glazing a millionaire just for a little recognition from them. But anyways, that's all I really want to talk about. Again, this video is just meant to show the craziness of parasocial relationships. I have nothing really against the fan. I think he's a little weird, but at the end of the day, no hate towards him. And as always, if you guys like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Just go.